Lives lost, shattered by Monday's earthquakes. Northwest Syria's humanitarian crisis made worse. The region was hit just as hard as cities across southern Turkey. But here the people devastated by over a decade of war wait for help. Already, millions live in tents. The quake has made tens of thousands more homeless. But it, it's cold. 9 members of our family are living in this tent. We lost our homes. We need everything. Clothes, food. The children are always hungry. We have nothing to keep warm. Rescue teams have been working non-stop, with little resources and alone, as hopes of finding survivors fade. They say they have been abandoned by the international community to face the worst disaster they have encountered. Requests for heavy machinery never came. On Thursday, the UN acknowledged search and rescue operations covered 5% of the devastated sites. We lost 27 members of our family in the quake. Seven bodies have still not been retrieved. The civil defense needs help. The cross-border aid operation from Turkey resumed on Thursday after it was disrupted partly to damage to infrastructure on both sides of the border. But the UN was criticized for providing what many said were insignificant supplies. It says more assistance is coming. Aid agencies, however, say politics is getting in the way of using more direct and effective routes. Our report lays out several concrete ways that that could happen. Opening additional cross-border routes from Turkey, opening up cross-line channels from other parts of Syria, including the northeast towards the Iraqi border or the south. Obviously, there would need to be a lot of guarantees of non-interference um, that the government would need to accept in order for that channel to work, and then an air bridge. Government areas, too, are in a dire situation. UN agencies which operate there are promising to scale up response across the country. But to cross front lines, they need approval from Damascus, which has been accused of using access as a political pressure. And to use more border crossings will require a UN resolution because of the objection of the Syrian government and its Russian ally. So what we need is a capacity to scale up the existing uh, type of, um, of response that existed prior to the earthquake. Um, I mean, the question of cross-line or cross-border is, uh, I would almost say, the moot point in many ways because what we need is a modality that works. Medical support is needed to an already crumbling infrastructure. The crisis deepens in this war-torn land. Zana Khudr, Al Jazeera.